Veselinas debunked on homosexuality. I mentioned in my video on Veselinas analysis of Beats brand headphones that I would be doing a response to another one of his videos, specifically when using text-to-speech technology. Well, here it is. In order to avoid confusion, note that Veselinas video is a response to a video by Potholer54 on homosexuality. Links to both of these should be provided. From a personal point of view, the idea that homosexuality is some kind of a choice is very easy for me to dismiss for a very simple reason. Guys just don't do it for me. That's nothing to boast about, that's just the way it is. Now before I get lots of comments, this has nothing to do with homophobia. So Pothola, you think that claiming you have no desire for the same sex could result in accusation of homophobia? This just shows how defensive, paranoid and politically correct the secular liberal progressive community is. Wow. So you now seem to be conceding that claiming to be heterosexual is now possible or probable grounds for being accused of homophobia. Interesting. I have to say that this is actually a problem. As we will see later, Veselina will again accuse gay supporters of confusing these two ideas of aversion towards homosexuality, and Veselina will also confuse them later on. I just can't help being turned off by it. I can't even stand to watch two guys kissing on screen. Seriously, I have to look away. Lol. Now you can be sure that will be deemed to be very homophobic by gay supporters. Oh dear, what have you done? I'm a gay supporter, and I don't find his statement homophobic. I find Veselina's statement quite comedic. Here Pothola is admitting he has a natural revulsion towards two men kissing. I agree, and it is a natural response, because sexual union is clearly intended by the design of the biology of our bodies, to be between male and female. You don't say? It's quite obvious that genitalia are designed for reproduction. But that does not imply that people should be chastised for using them in other ways, especially if they offer sexual pleasure, and if such activity occurs among consenting parties. On the note of male and female, there are many heterosexual acts that do not constitute reproduction, and Veselina might argue that those to violate the design of genitalia. Would Veselina be against those acts, too? It now becomes rather amusing as Pothola attempts to justify his aversion and digs himself deeper into a hole. Let's see. But before you start getting judgmental, I also wouldn't want to watch my parents engaging in a passionate kiss either. It doesn't mean I'm against whatever my parents want to do in the privacy of their own home. Pothola seems a tad confused here in his arguments and reasoning. He is now justifying his revulsion towards same-sex kissing by comparing it to his revulsion towards seeing his own parents kissing. Naturally it is uncomfortable to see any sensuality between parents, as we are very familiar with them and don't want to be party to private intimacy, so this is a different context altogether from viewing intimacy by strangers. True but I believe Veselina is missing Pateller's point. The point Patella is trying to make is that although he may object to witness some certain intimate acts among people, for whatever reason, he would not try to stop them from performing such acts. He neatly avoids mentioning any aversion to seeing a good-looking heterosexual couple kissing on screen or having six or two women together. Does Pothola turn away from heterosexual kissing on screen or in public? Wow. Surely that would be deemed to be very puritanical and prudish by an enlightened sexually liberated culture. He must do a lot of turning away from movies and TV if he finds any kissing or sex offensive. Or maybe it's only the thought of his own parents doing it, and homosexuals? Yes. Being a heterosexual male myself, I can certainly relate to Pateller's aversions. I'm not sure what point Veselina is trying to make. If you want to suggest I'm trying to hide homosexual tendencies... Well that's what atheists and gay supporters do if a believer says they are repulsed by homosexual kissing. I don't. If I do, it's probably just a joke. Hey, that doesn't bother me. I don't see being gay as either derogatory or demeaning. You might very well be right. Ah, so you are now admitting you might be a closet homosexual, ah? Perhaps. But only a psychologist 
can make that determination. I'm just telling you what I feel, and I think a lot of men feel the same way. Yes, Pot Holler, a lot of men do feel the same way as you, being repulsed by two men kissing, but most of them are probably theists, and have a rational explanation as to why they have the revulsion, whereas the majority of the atheist community would probably deny any revulsion at homosexuality, due to their politically correct uber-liberal worldview or abandoned moral compass. Here we are. Veselina claims that gay supporters will deny any aversion towards homosexuality. This is true, but only if the aversion is towards homosexual individuals. However, as Potaller tries to explain, he has an aversion towards homosexual acts, as most heterosexual people do. I highly doubt that this will be taken badly by gay supporters. The difference is that like most rational men, I use my intelligence and moral code to get over those feelings. Or maybe those feelings are part of your moral code and conscience. I doubt they are. Which you are trying to extinguish by conforming to a secular worldview that is now accepting the unacceptable, and promoting what is wrong, as reason should reveal to you the natural order for sex being between the sex organs, male and female. Same sex organs are incompatible. This is rational and the biological reality. From the order and functionality of our sex organs we can infer design and the intent of the designer. But you are choosing to ignore that to conform to the irrationality of morally corrupt culture. As acknowledgement of the clear design and intent points to God. And bowing to an authority above yourself. Reason should show vessel and all that people wish to seek out sexual pleasure in order to reproduce. It's just that the design of genitalia allows for this even without reproduction. And accept gay people as friends and equal. It doesn't sound like you are accepting them as friends and equals if you claim to be repulsed by them kissing. Now here's where Veselina confuses these two ideas. Remember, it would seem that Patala is averse to homosexual acts, not individuals. These are two different things while others can't get over those feelings and resort to gay bashing and discrimination. Ah, the old gay bashing accusation for people who disagree with homosexuality. Most believers in God and his design order are not mindlessly attacking homosexuals, but simply disagree with that type of union. Point conceded. As it clearly goes against the biological design created by God. Violating design is not necessarily wrong. Veselina seems quite hung up on this point. Excuse me while I get some lemonade before continuing. Oh yes lemonade. A simple drink made from highly acidic lemon juice, sugar, and water. Strong acids can be quite harmful, and they usually taste sour. Therefore humans are naturally averse to sour tastes. But many other people, and I enjoy this drink. Would Veselina argue that enjoying this drink violates the natural design? And therefore wrong. I await his response. Also, for Pothola to accuse people of gay bashing and discrimination is rather ironic, considering within the last minute of his video he said this. I can't even stand to watch two guys kissing on screen. Seriously, I have to look away. I can't even stand to watch two guys kissing on screen. Seriously, I have to look away. Low confused the iced fail. Again, please understand the difference between aversion towards homosexual acts and towards homosexual individuals. If heterosexual men like me walked into a bedroom and saw a naked and beckoning man in one bed and a naked and beckoning woman in another, there's simply no choice to make. Now, many fundamentalists may find this revulsion towards sex with another man hard to understand, but believe me, it's not something I can turn off, which means it's clearly something inherent, something natural. Which means it's clearly something inherent, something natural. First of all, just because a desire or inclination appears to be instinctual does not mean it is natural in the sense of it being right and justifiable of expression. Going by Potholler's dangerous sloppy logic, lust for animals, children and dead bodies is natural, simply because some people have such an urge. This is the danger with naturalist thinking. It begins to inadvertently justify all types of behavior, simply because the urge is there. Potholler's argument is perhaps flawed, but the point Veselina 
makes about naturalist thinking, ignores the various ways that the lusts mentioned can naturalistically be considered wrong. Zoophilia and pedophilia are wrong, because they harm animals, and children respectively. Necrophilia itself doesn't really harm anyone, but the ways of obtaining dead bodies probably do. However homosexuality among consenting adults does not harm anyone, so it is not wrong. I'm sure Pot Holler would not claim the lust of animals, children or dead bodies is chosen. Why would anyone choose volitionally to desire something so perverted? But neither are these aberrant lusts genetic or existing from birth. They are developed over time, and usually by a series of progressively more deviant desires. You see Pot Holler, sexual appetite are an inclination. And inclinations are developed, appetites and preferences are molded over time, and can be changed over time, although at the present moment they can indeed seem to be innate and unchangeable. Of course at the present moment someone who lusts animals only, would not be able to be aroused by humans, but if the person changes their behavior, abstains from ingraining those thoughts and activities, then it is possible for the aspirations and inclinations of a person to change, the brain, attitude, beliefs, Aspirations and desires of a person are malleable and not static. People can change what they value and how they live, and this in turn has an effect on the person, spiritually, aspirationally and even physically. Point conceded. There are various institutions dedicated to curing homosexual people of their desires, which might theoretically work. But as I said before, homosexuality is not wrong and thus does not have to be changed. 